Hi, this is Raghavendra, uh, having 11 years of IT experience. So I shall expose you towards my experience first so that we can get into the class. So initially to say I am a Java certified guy with Java 8 as the version, JDK 8 as the version and prior to that 5 to 8, Java 5 to 8, this is all of my Gretchen projects, including the AngularJS part, which is the UI part to make it a single page application. Next, moving into the Salesforce, the CRM part, we have Salesforce in which I am certified. Apart from this, we have the Jenkins build presently, which is in the market. Apart from Maven, which is being used in smaller companies. So this is the basic we will be using for developing projects using Java 8 with AngularJS so that we can make it a single page application. Right. So include with this, we have the other CRM part or the middleware part where we go for SAP in which you need to be well versed with Java so that we can develop a app coding. Apart from this, we have a tool known as Pega, which is used for the banking applications. So basically, if we develop any banking related module using Java, we can go for Pega too. Since you are all well versed with Java and other technologies to develop a smaller projects or smaller chunks of projects, let's go for a longer projects or the implementation of the basic projects which basically happens inside the company environment. Before taking you into Java part or the other part to which we develop the projects, Let's take me into the basic implementation part of Java. Since it is a syntactical language, since you need to learn just the syntaxes for this part, any language which has only syntaxes can be learned in few days or few hours. That's not an issue. But the problem is where the implementation has to go or what is the environment that we actually have to use these syntaxes, thereby to get an application designed and put that into the market. For that basic reason, we will definitely need an environment where we need to put these syntaxes and see that this runs as per the client need. To continue with this, we got an environment where we need to work with. So say that this is the JRE part or the Java runtime environment where we need to run these syntaxes. These syntaxes may just give you a just preview of what actually we need. But will this be dynamic in nature? To bring that into dynamic nature, let's use some predefined or the predefined tools or the languages we already have. Say, for building the project, there are Jenkins. For running this environment with certain database, we need to hold some DB connections where the database is JDBC part. To make this into a single kind of application, we can use AngularJS. So what actually is AngularJS in comparison with Java? since Angular Java script, since Java word is involved, it doesn't mean that it's the same syntax as of Java. But the major difference between this Java script part and the Java syntaxes part is the front view being handled by the syntaxes and the back end part being accessed by the script part of the Java script, which is Angular. So basically this Angular makes the syntaxes quite dynamic for the environment to be set up. So just moving into the depth of this, say Java, say Angular, say a certain kind of database, something like JDBC or something, or Oracle database, where we can use SQL and nothing. So what actually we cover for the project to be handled is Java methods, different methods that we need to access to run that environment, different syntactical types that we are already provided by Angular thereby to use this to run these Java methods and then connection to the particular database which will give us a single page entire single page application to be developed. So after this putting this into the real time scenario is what actually we need to concentrate on which will be concentrated on the prior classes that we will go for and how you use this syntaxes or how do you link those angular links with the database is what we are going to see in the class. So using these technologies like Java, AngularJS and the database links prior to building using Jenkins build, we shall look out how this is really used in the real time scenario and how that brings out what actually the project demands of the client would be seen in the class.